Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Hello, Fernando. How's everything there? Yes. How's it going? I'm going to, <laughs> why not, to sleep for the afternoon. All right. So yes. you are are you ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how was your vacation time? Uh no vacation. I'm uh, working to vacation. Uh really? Wow. So you're not gonna have any any vacation time? Yes, any vacation. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you know, but fortunately we have a job, right? So we we can continue yes. like doing something special, right? Yes, in the airport. Yeah. Let me see. I have a Gladys. I can see Norma there and Aidan. It's over here. Let's wait a little bit as always so that we can start with the class tonight. You know, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about uh, present simple, but uh, we're just gonna go deeply, okay? Deeply in a topic, and we're gonna develop a couple of exercises. And you see, we have a lot of work to do. I can see Norma over here, 
Let us wait a little bit for the rest. Okay, let us wait. Uh, I can see Maria Elba. Good evening. Veronica got into the class. Maria Elba got into the class. Norma, it's over here. She's over here also. Daniel got into the class. Good. Let's wait a little bit more. I, I have eight people in... Maria says, all right. So Maria is present and she says she's going to be uh, a listener tonight. I can see. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Maria Elba, I got it. Daniel, good evening. I can see. Good evening. Now, Ada is going to be a, a list, as a listener tonight. Uh, also, Ada, I mean, Ada. Listener and also Gladys. Maria Elba is there. Michael, good good to see you here. You were asking about if we were going to have classes tonight. Now you know what? Surprise. We are over here. <laughs> we are over here. So we are we are starting with a new a new class, right? So we're gonna be uh, working during two hours, you know, 120 minutes, once again, uh, taking um, advantage of time. I have nine people and still waiting for the rest, right? I can see Merlin. Good evening, Merlin. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good, good to see you over here. Uh, okay, good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Okay, I hope we're going to get a, a great time together, as we usually do. Berenice says, good evening, teacher. I will be as a listener. <laughs> All right. All right, Berenice. I hope to see you soon. And uh, I know that over here, there are a lot of people who love to participate actively in the class. That's what I want you to do tonight also. Okay, Merlin says, good evening. Good evening to everybody. Okay, 20, 10 people, right? Still waiting for the rest. Well, I will start checking the list attendance. Okay, just uh, to see about the people who got connected at on time. Yeah, it's because it's six minutes after eight. I have uh, Aidan. Uh, Belen, Daniel, present teacher, uh, Edgar Edilson, Gladys Rubidia, present teacher, excellent, Gladys, Jonathan Josué, Jose Daniel, Juan Fernando, present teacher, uh, Maria Elba, I know Maria Elba is there. She's a listener tonight, right? Uh, Mario Cristobal. Berenice is there, I know. Merlin is there. Present teacher. All right. Michael. Yes, here, teacher. Uh, okay. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. Ronan is a, a listener tonight. Teresa Maria. Vera Liz. And Jansi. Okay, now, welcome back. Welcome. Hello, good night, teacher. Sorry. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Jose Daniel. Okay, Jose Daniel. Good, good to see you here. Now I have 11, 10 people, all right, and still waiting for. Well, tonight we're going to go uh, over a topic that we have been studying in previous uh, classes, right? But this is very important because, you know, the topic, the grammatical topic may be the same, but, you know, the context 
uh, can change a little bit, and that's quite important because we know and we learn how to um, how to use different grammar, grammatical structure in different contexts. So that's what I, I like about it. Well, we're gonna start. I will share the screen as I, I usually do it in order to have a beginning of the class, right? So actually you had a homework as far as I remember about industry, right? You were in charge of uh, presenting some, um, some information regarding to different, different industries, right? Uh, in the first one, in this exercise, exercise number six, we did it, I remember we did it in the, in the previous class, but let us have some review. The beauty and personal care industry belongs to guided tours, buildings, hair salon services, medicine or mobile funds. Hair salon services. Hair salon services, all right. Now, I hope you have investigated about hair salon services. What's new about it? Espero hayan investigado, okay? Now, what about number two? The construction industry. Guided, guided tours, buildings, hair salon services, medicine, or mobile funds. Buildings. Buildings. It's about buildings, right? The, the tourism industry. Guided tours, buildings, hair salon services, uh, medicine, or mobile funds. Guided tours. Guided tours. Guided tours. Guided tours. All right, number four. The telecommunications industry, guided tours, buildings, hair salon services, medicine, and mobile phones. Mobile phones. Mobile phones. All right. And the last one, the pharmaceutical industry is about guided tours, buildings, hair salon services, medicine, or mobile phones. Medicine. 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 Pretty good. Now we're going to check it. We're going to see the info. All right, give me a second, please. It's a... Yeah, right. So, Kikali, now I wonder if you investigated something regarding to this industry. Who investigated about, about hair salon services? Who investigated about it? Let me see, there are some people chatting on it. Okay, Mario Cristobal is over here, and Vera Lee says, good evening. Okay, but at least I got it. Okay, now here's a loan services. Is there anybody who investigated the, the information about it? Who investigated about here salon services? No one? So you, you said, wow, vacation time. I will forget about English. Okay, great. That's what you said, right? English, vacation time, uh-uh. No, that, can, that cannot be possible, right? <laughs> okay, so if you didn't do so, don't worry, okay? So, but I highly advise you to go and surf the internet and study about this, right? What's all about, about hair salon services? What's all about, uh, about the construction industry? And also about what's about guided tours and also about uh, mobile phones and about medicine because uh, the more you study about these industries, the more you learn. That's what I have told you, right? So many times ago. Now, uh, the topic, that was the topic. Industry vocabulary was the topic we started the last time. This is the exercise we just developed right now. And you know what? The topic for tonight is, what is the topic, people? Simple present information questions. Simple present information questions, right? So that's it. That's it. Familiar to you? Is it familiar to you? The yes, topic? it's familiar. Ah, it's topic. very familiar, simple right? Present. Simple present. We have been studying simple present since we were in a, in basic English one. <laughs> and you know what? We continue with it now. Simple present, but with information questions. And this, this is, I think this is the second time we are going to study this info, but, you know, I have just gotten some links, more info, 
and we're gonna see what's coming soon. All right, so let's see. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so it's right here, right? So the the information that it, that the that the the students got present over here. Don't worry because I have uh, more material over here. So we're gonna study a lot tonight. Okay, so over here. Last time we were talking, this was the last, the last exercise we discussed about, right? So we solved it. We discovered some uh, vocabulary and all the stuff, right? And well, we didn't this we didn't do this exercise, but you I told you to do it by your own, right? And this is what we are supposed to, uh, we're, we're in church of learning tonight. Introduce personnel providing information about their position, okay? Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Do you enjoy welcoming guests and why? So that's a question that I will ask you later. Ya lo, poquito despuesito, le voy a, me voy a regresar acá y le voy a preguntar uno por uno, okay? There is a there is a conversation over here and it says listen to the teacher read the conversation then practice with the partner. Miss Tate arrived to a restaurant and she will train the personnel. Mr. Young, the owner, welcomes her. And Miss Tate starts. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Young? Mr. Young says, Yes, I am. Then the lady follows, I'm Miss Tate, I'm the trainer. Nice to meet you. Mr. Long continues saying, hello. Nice to meet you, Miss Tate. Let me introduce the staff. This is Mario, he's a branch manager, and this is Leo. Mario says, welcome. Nice to meet you. The lady then, Continues like, nice meeting you, Mario. Nice to meet you, Leo. Hey, what do you do? And Leo says, nice to meet you. I'm in charge of the kitchen staff. And then the lady says, great. Oh, Mr. John, what does the girl over there do? She's Nisa. She's in church of park chases. Now, uh, before, Asking you to read the information on here or to read the, the conversation. Just let me know about some vocabulary that you don't know. Any new word? Any vocabulary? New word? New vocabulary? No? Branch, branch manager. Yeah, that's right. That's a branch manager. Yeah. Is, is it raining there? Cristobal, is, is it raining there? Hello, hello? Do you listen to me, people? Trainer. Trainer. Ah, trainer. trainer. Uh, I hear you say training here. No, trainer. Hey, who can give me the answer? Who can you can help Cristobal about it? What's the meaning of the word trainer, people? Entrenador. Ah, okay. So what does a trainer do, people? What does a trainer do? What does a trainer do? What does the trainer do? Let me see, let me see. Okay, I think. I don't know. Michael, are you there, Michael? Yes, teacher. Okay, Michael. Look for look for this word and tell us about what a trainer does. 
Bendita sea Dios, mi amor, le di una providencia. It is about what a trainer does. Well, now do me a favor, people. Do me a favor. It would be really nice if you if you close your microphone if you're not participating, okay? Because somehow that that interrupts the class. Thank you very much. That's better. Thank you. Okay, what's a trainer, people? What does a trainer do? That's a question just right now. What does a trainer do? What does a trainer do? Did you get the info there? Does the gear over there do? What what does a trainer do? What 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 does a trainer do in a company? Uh, teaching the the new guests, teaching the new guests uh, about the work workplace. Okay, very good. Now you got the idea, right? That's a trainer, right? That is a trainer. Thank you very much. Now there are some uh, questions or some expressions. That are in bold and can you read them? Can you read this one? What do you do? Hey, what do you do? What do you do? If I ask you, uh, Daniel, what do you do? What would be your answer? I I study English. I study staying in English class. Okay, I'm I'm a student. I'm an English student. Yeah, but what do you do at the company? The company? Yeah. Uh, I type in a report, a information. Okay, very good. That's what you do, you type reports. Okay, you, re you report information. Okay, now can somebody read this? Can somebody else read that? The, what does the girl over there do? Hey, what does the girl over there do? What does the girl over there do? Well, she's Nisa, she's in church of uh, purchases. Now you know you know about this, right? Now do me the favor. You know about this new word? Is it is it new? Is it new, or it's it's a it's a word that you already know? Yeah, yeah that's right. So that's that's she's in church of purchases, right? Now listen carefully because we have already studied about this info in the past. Now I I told you right that I was going to come back. That the this suficiente tiempo para que. Eh, piensen en la respuesta de esto. So I will start. Eh, I will try to... Okay, Aníbal. Aníbal, do you usually receive business guests in the, your workplace? Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace, Aníbal? I... Remember that you only have two choices, right? You say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Hey, once again, do you usually receive business guests in your workplace, animal? Yes, I do. I guess you too. Perfect. Now, do you enjoy welcoming guests? Do you enjoy welcoming guests? Say yes or no. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, I, yes, I do. Yes, you do. Why? Why? Why, Cristobal? So I will ask. Uh, I will ask two, three, or four people over here. Okay, Norma, try to stay. 
Uh, try to stay in the in the in the class, Norma. Okay. Try to stay in here. Now, uh, Cristobal. Why? It's because first one. Hey, do you usually do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? They say yes, I do. Then you then I asked, hey, do you enjoy welcoming guests? And you say yes, I do. Now the biggest question is why. Why do you enjoy? It's because why do you enjoy welcoming guests? What's interesting about about it? About uh, welcoming guests. Why do you like to do so? Okay, try to think about it, Cristobal. Try to think because uh, I need you to answer that question. Uh, let me see. I don't know if Veronica is ready now to participate. Now, Fernando, what about you? Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Uh, do you enjoy yes. welcoming guests? Uh, yes, I do. Why? So is, is this, is this uh, of the good main, mainers? Okay, that's the reason. There is a reason. Okay. Uh, no. So what's the reason? Why? Why do you enjoy welcoming guests? The company is to is to prepare for the food airplanes, and not to say the welcome to the people. Oh, okay. So I I think well it all depends on, on the on, on your point of view, right? But welcoming guests, it's a good it's a good idea in my case because you can make new friends, right? You can you can start uh learning about about the way somebody else uh, sees uh the company where you are working. Okay, let me see. I will try with somebody. Thank you, Fernando. What, what about you, Merlin? Merlin, what can you tell what can you tell us? Do you usually receive business guests in your workplace? You know. Yes, yes. Is it, yes, yes I, do. I do. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. Do you enjoy welcoming guests? Say yes, I do. No, I don't. And there is a big question right here. Why? Why? Okay, so now continue thinking about it. Continúen pensando en cómo responder esto en inglés. A lo mejor regreso por acá. Now, listen. Complete the question, then write the answers. I have some questions over here. Questions such as, let me see. Como es repaso, eso ya lo vimos allá en básico. Vamos a ver. No se preocupen si no, si no logran responder de inmediato. Pero ya cuando, cuando se den cuenta de que esto pues lo, lo estuvimos estudiando mucho, ya van a ver, ah, no, si esto era aquello tan sencillo que estudiamos con el teacher. Let me see. Oh, give me a second. I need to get the list. I got the list in here. Okay, and I have, well, Teresa, are you there? Norma, are you there? Hello, Norma. Can you help me with the number one? How do we complete questions, double-edged questions with simple present? If you know, if you know, just let me know it.
Uh huh. What do we need after the double H question word? What Mario? And there's a question over here, a question mark over here. Complete the questions, then write the answers. Michael? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, how do you complete the, 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 this question? Question number one. Ready? Mm. How, how do you complete the question number one? Do you remember? Uh, uh -huh. Does what does wow, Mario? Okay, very good. I hear somebody like talking now. Who said it? Hey, what does? Well, I'm sorry, I don't like red. I will change the color. I think this is fair. What does Mario what? Mario do. Hey, what does Mario do? What does Mario do? According to what we read, what does okay, Mario do, okay. people? What does Mario range. do? Huh? Mario. Um, He's the yeah, branch, branch manager. Branch manager. Excellent. Yes. So he's a branch manager, manager, right? Very good. So answer it over here. Answer it. What does Mario do? He's a he's branch he manager. Does. He is. He is branch manager. He is a branch manager, right? Es cierto. So in here, he is. The branch manager. Now we're gonna complete it over here. So, so you can do it by your own also there. He is branch, branch manager. Manager. Good period. Now, what about Leo? What's the question over here, people? What is the question with 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 this person? What do you do? What do you do, eh? What do what do you do, Leo? Yeah. And Leo answer. And Leo answers. What do you do, Leo? And Leo answers? She's... Uh, he is chicken and stuff. Okay, he is... She is in charge of the chicken stuff. Okay, he's in church. It's right here, right? So do me the favor to complete it. He's in church. Of kitchen stuff. The kitchen stuff. Is that right? Okay, so we got it, right? He's in church of the kitchen stuff. Now, what about Nisa? What is the question for Nisa? What does, what does, what, what does, very good, what does, that you remember, right? Este ejercicio es solo para que se acordaran y ya veo que lo, lo han hecho muy bien. What does Nisa do? Hey, what does she do? What does she do, people? She is in charge of poor shelf. She's in church. Good. Purchases, right? Good. 
That's what we have there, right? Let me see if we're not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. So she's in charge of purchases. Excellent. Now, now that you remember about the way to ask questions with simple present tense, we're gonna go a little bit. We're gonna get into a into a different context. Okay. Well, I have a couple of uh, links that we need to go over tonight. We have more exercises over here, of, of course, right? But before going into this part, okay? So I have some extra information. I like to provide extra info. So now you remember about the way to create questions, double H questions with simple present. Now you remember that we use auxiliaries such as does or do, depending on the question, right? Depending on the question. So we're going to see some, some other information I have here, okay? And then we are gonna practice a little bit, okay? This is a game. So we're gonna try to let me see. Well, this it was not supposed to be this one. No, it was the other one. Give me a second, please. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, how do you say that in English, people? How do you say that in English? Huh? Box you. I know. Es caja, verdad? Yeah. Hey, look, look in the web. Look in the web. How to say that, right? In English. Game dice. Ah, that's a dice, right? So Daniel got it. Uh, Daniel, can you share it in the chat, please? Daniel, so we can learn, learn a new one, a new word. That's a dice, a game dice, okay? Now, do you see? So we have a dice over here, and we have, we're gonna, we're gonna play only once. What are we going to do, people? We're gonna identify the sentence, the statement, and we're gonna see if we can, we can solve the exercise. For example, you are over here, okay? Now, Okay, now I have this one. I have this one. We, who she is. Over here, there's something that we are missing. What is that? We don't know, we doesn't know, or we don't know. Hello, hello. What's the best option here? We don't know, teacher. We don't no. know. No, no. Hey, we don't know. This is very easy, right? Este juego está super sencillo, okay? <laughs> Next, es solo para que se acuerden. Es para que se acuerden. Ya va, se va a poner mejor. No se preocupen. Now, we're going to roll the dice once again. <laughs> Okay, now we have something else. We have listen the president a speech at the moment. What is the tense? Are giving is giving or gives? Gives. Ah. Uh gives. -huh. Gives. Yeah, speech. At the uh, say gives. It's But giving. Fíjense bien que ahorita este ejercicio no nos está poniendo trucos para que no solo nos quedemos con el Pero tema no que estamos viendo. Aquí vamos a estar viendo otras estructuras que ya hemos visto. It's giving. Ah, ok. Yes. Now, yes, yes right? Yes, yes. So, if you say gives, somebody says gives. So, gives. Say, listen, the president gives a speech. Uh, but what do you see about this? What is this, people? 
that moment <laughs> present. Ah, do you remember the way we call it the basic one? ¿Se acuerdan cómo lo llamábamos en el básico? Que estuvimos viendo eso. ¿Ah? Complemento. Mm, but when I say at the moment. Eh, Conectores, por eso. Don't you remember about time expressions? Preposiciones, preposición. No, but we, we were talking about time expression, right? So if you say at the moment, se tiene que fijar en estas, en todo, en todo. Pero hay expresiones que como que lo dejan aún más claro cuál es el tiempo en el que se está hablando. Si digo, listen, the president gives a speech at the moment. The problem says that uh, over here we have at the moment. No puede ser este. Porque dice en este momento. Este momento. Ok. Yes. The president is giving a speech yes. at the moment, right? Yes. Yeah. Ok, don't worry, it's only a game. Solo es un juego, ya vamos, ya, ya. Pues no me voy a detener mucho, solo quiero que se que, que, que observen como más a detalle, que no a las primeras digan gives. O que de Arquid, no, que, 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 lo, que lo lean, eh, se tomen unos segundos y de ahí me digan cuál es lo, la opción correcta. Ok, now, present continuous. Now, I will, I will roll the dice once again. And let's see what we have here. Ok, so anybody, Brandon in the lake at the moment. I'm doing streaming in the lake at the moment. Okay, pretty good. Present continuous. Hey, teacher, but we are dealing with simple present tonight. Yes, I know, <laughs> but you need to get accustomed to identify. Hey, what's going on with that? <laughs> I, I'm sorry if you got scared. Lo siento si se asustaron. Hey, my mother in that hospital. Working. Works. My mother works. works. My mother now, works in the office. Over here is where I want you to start uh, identifying things, right? Works. No, no puede estar sucediendo que en un futuro, bueno, el, el teacher le diga, bueno, compre, completamos esto. Alguien dice working, pero otro, otro dice works, works, y otro dice are working. Ok. No podemos estar hesitando. Hesitate. Debemos de estar seguros. My mother in oh, that works. hospital. My mother in that hospital. My mother working? Yes or no? No. 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 My mother are working? No. 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 My mother works? Works. Yes. Yes, in that hospital. Hospital. yes right? My mother works in that hospital. So what is the tense? Simple present. Now, over here, we're going to practice a little bit because I got it. Okay. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta, la double H question for, para, esta, para esta oración? Entonces, que esta es la respuesta. My mother works in that hospital. What would be the question over here? The double H question. My mother. That's my mother. I, does my mother. My mother. In that, that hospital. Work. In work. the hospital. In the hospital. In that All right. So this is an option, right? Pero acuérdense, el tema de nosotros esta noche va más dirigido a las double H. Esta, ¿cómo respondemos a esta pregunta? Yes, yeah, she does. Yes. yes. She does. Or, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. All right. So that's the way we, we answer, right? En ese tipo de preguntas solo tenemos dos opciones. Pero después del punto, usted puede incluirle lo que usted desee de, de más, ¿verdad? Pero la respuesta corta es Yes, she does, no she doesn't. Ahora, si yo, le, si yo digo eh, 
¿Dónde trabaja ella? How do you say that in English? Where? Ah, uh, we need a double H, right? Where? Where what? Where works? Where? No. Where does? Where, where, does, does, she, where, does. where does she work? Where she work? Okay. In that way. Work. Ah, work. okay, Daniel. Daniel, it's very concentrated tonight. Hey, where does she work? She works at the hospital. She works in that hospital. Okay. So let's see. We're going to try to get to the end. Vamos a tratar de terminar el jueguito ese. Now. Oh my goodness. But... Okay, now let us go over it as soon as possible. My dad is taking takes or take and not now. My dad. Okay, let's go over it as soon as possible. Is taking. Is taking. Okay, I will I will choose the, the one you tell me as soon as I listen because I, I wanna I wanna finish it. Okay, she eat lunch at school. Does. She, uh -huh. does. Does, does she eat lunch at school? Si quisiéramos, si quisiéramos convertirla en una double H question, ¿cómo lo haríamos? What? What? She does. What does she eat? What does she eat? Ah, ¿qué es lo que ella come? Okay, ¿qué es lo que ella come uh, al almuerzo? Okay. Ah, uh, she eat lunch at school. She eat. She eats lunch at school. Okay. What does she eat at school? Ah, uh, she eats lunch at school. So that's that would be better, right? The next one. Now, my uncle, me, scary story last night, is telling me, tell me, told me. Tall? Told me. Tell. 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 Okay. Now, once tell again, me. right? Once again, se, se fijaron? Last night. Se fijaron que cuando aparecen, time. Expressions, ya no está diciendo un, un tiempo. No puedes, ok, is telling? Correct no. or incorrect? No. no. Tell? Tell me. No. 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 Okay, so, we discovered that's past, right? Es pasado, oh. so, to oh. me. Pero es simple. Yeah, past. Simple past, ok? Now, let's see, let us see if we can finish this. Now, Dr. Alexa to visit us yesterday. Okay. 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 Very good. Next one. It's because I need to move on. <laughs> Tony, usually basketball after school. Right? Playing. Playing? Playing. Tony usually is playing basketball after school. It's playing. Play. Now, Play. once again, it's because I think you you tend to guess, okay? Now, Play. is playing, yes or no? No. 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 Play? No. No. Plays. Play. Yes. Play. Ah, okay. So simple present, right? So we have what? What is this? This is a frequency advert. We started that when we were in basic one. Okay. Now, as you can see, English is something that you need to keep in mind all the time. Siempre hay que tener en cuenta todo lo que hemos venido aprendiendo. Okay. 
Deve ser. Now, as you say, please, right? Good. Now, let's go to the next. Where did you go last night? Where did you go last night? All right. So we got this time expression that tell us that simple past, right? What is the auxiliary we do with simple past? Do? Do. Did? Did. Did. Or does? No. Ah, did, right? Yes. That's the auxiliary with simple past. Okay. Good. Si nos retacha, ya no jugamos. Digo que no pasa el trap. Okay, he was very ill, so he to the party. Did not go, does not go, didn't not or did not win. Didn't not went. Didn't not went. Okay. And we're gonna analyze this part. Cristobal. Okay, now. Sé que no estamos en pasado todavía, pero, pero es bueno que ya lo vayamos valorando porque más adelante vamos a entrar a pasado. So Cristóbal says, did not win. Now, correct or incorrect? Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Correct incorrect. or incorrect? Incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Ah, so this is not correct. This is not correct. So, but what is the problem with, with the one uh, Cristobal said? ¿Cuál es el problema con este? Doble en pasado, doble pasado. Okay, right? El not no es problema. Lo que sí es problema es el did y el went. Went. Es do, este y este son problemas. Porque no podemos tener dos veces pasado. All right? So the answer over here is didn't go. In the next, okay, fortunately we are finishing. Okay, now you won, okay? You won. Okay, what was the purpose? Well, uh, uh, the purpose is, uh, the purpose was for you to identify especially simple present tense, there is a topic that we are dealing uh, with tonight, okay? Now, I will explain, now let me see if this is the one that I want you to explain. Now, this is the exercise. Mm, okay, so give me one minute because I will share a uh, PowerPoint. Well, now, yes, people, we're going to go over this topic uh, fully, right? We're going to see in detail certain uh, information that we need to take into consideration. What is the topic for tonight? What is the topic? Double H questions with simple present. Simple present. This is our topic, right? This is our topic. And over here, we're going to see, what, how do you say this in English? Here. Here. It's here. It's here. That's yellow. Sure. Here. 
Yeah, now, teacher. Can, can you tell me one question? That, uh, a question you can create, you, you are able to create by using that uh, word? What's in simple present? Uh, what is the color? Okay. Simple form of the verb to be. What's the color? What's the color? But look at it. Okay. We're going to see what, what type of question is this one. Do you need a t-shirt? Yes, I need a t-shirt. Yes, I do. I need a t-shirt. Yes, uh, I do. Okay. I do not say only yes or no, right? So it's, it's good better if you say if you if you include the, the, the auxiliary. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Now a double H a double H questions on the other hand. It's like this. What do you need? So can you see the difference between both of them? Ya notaron la diferencia en esas son preguntas cerradas cuando empieza con tú. Okay. Mm -hmm. If it starts with that, you have you only have two two options. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Hey, does she need? Does if we have third person, right? Does she need a t-shirt? Yes, yeah, she does. No, she doesn't. But on the other hand, when you have what do you need? So you need to provide more information. Okay, that's why they are called double H or open questions. Questions in which you can provide more info. Hey, what do you need? I need a t-shirt. But why do you need a t-shirt? Do you need a new one? Or do you need a, an old one? Uh, I need a, a, a new one because the one that I'm wearing now is pretty old. Okay, y de ahí puede, pueden, estas generan más información. Pide, so usted puede, puede extenderse en su respuesta. Now, yes, no, no additional information. Double H, give details. More information is required. Okay, what? Then, what? We use what to ask about things. What do you need? I need a suit. What does his sister like? She likes the red dress. Okay, what? We use it to talk about things or to ask information about things. What? What color that you know, right? It's asking for a color of, a, of an item. What color do you want? Blue. What color does Claire like? Yellow. Yellow. He likes yellow color. What size? What size do they need? Extra large. What size does Peter want? Small. Okay. Which? We use it to ask about choice. Choice. And then we answer with one or once. One is for singular, once is for plural. How come, teacher? Well, say, which code do you need? Only one, right? The, the pink one or the the this is brown one. The pink one or the brown one? Well, look at the answer. The brown one. This one is the one that I want. So which coat do you need? The brown one. Brown one. Which pants does he want? The black ones or the blue ones? The up there, gray. The gray ones, because this is plural, right? This is singular. And this is plural, the great ones. So far, so good. So far, so good, people. Todo bien hasta el momento. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Why? Why? Why is used to ask about reasons? Why? We answer these questions with because. Hey, why are you happy? Why are you so happy tonight? 
¿Por qué estás tan feliz esta noche? Uh, I'm so happy because I am having my English class. Okay, that's when I'm really happy tonight because I love to learn English because. Okay, why? Reason. Then, why do you like the sweater? Because it is new. I like it because it's new. Why does your friend like those sneakers? Uh, because they are cheap. I like them because they are cheap. Form. This is a form. This is the this is a pattern you need to follow. Double H question word. Use double H word plus do or does plus a subject plus the base form of a verb. Examples. Well, you have double H word, do does, subject, base form. Example, what do you like in the question mark? Which sweater does she need? And that's it, right? So as you can see, it is not that complicated. Remember to use do or does. Remember to use do, to use do or does. Remember to use do or does. Remember to use do or does. Okay, I'm, I, I repeated it. Like three times because, you know, some people tend to forget it. Do or that. What do you need? What do I need? What do we need? What do they need? Okay. We need to use the auxiliary with these words. Remember to use the use of do and does. What does he, she, it? How do we call this? ¿Quién se acuerda cómo le llamamos a esto? Pronouns. They are pronouns. Good. But do we also uh, call them pronouns that are in? Third person. Third person singular, right? Third person singular. So, third person. So when we have this, it's because we need to use the auxiliary does. Okay, he, she, it. What does he, what does she, what does it? And that's it. So we're gonna practice a little bit. We're going to practice. And then, but you're gonna create a conversation because it's, it will be quite good for you to going to practice what we have just started tonight. Mm. Uh, well, give me a second. Yeah, it's all here. Give me, give me a second. Now, over here, I have some, some exercises. Okay, we have like 10. We're gonna solve like 10, no more than that, right? Because they are, we have a lot in here. We have like, let me see, uh, 20. No, we're not gonna work with all of them. We're gonna work only with 10, no more than that, okay? So we have the first one. You are going to create the question by using double H, question word in simple present. And you have the statement, so here, where you go to the school. Okay, what, what is, the, what is the, the way we can solve this? Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Okay, we're gonna show. Where do you go to school? 
Pretty good, Tanya. What about the number two? What do you do? What do you do? What, what do, do you, you do? do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? We're going to see. You got what it, you right? Do? You got it. You're doing a great job tonight. Where John come from? Where does John come from? Come from? Now, you see, we have here, where does John come from? Good. What about number four? How long it take from London to Paris? How long does, does it take from London to Paris? We're not seeing. Hey, how long does it take from London to Paris? Good. Number five. How often, how often does, does she, she go, go to, to the, the cinema? cinema? How often? How often? Let us see the info. Good. Number six. How many children do you have? Have. How many? How many? Children. Mm -hmm. Do you have? How many children do you have? Good. Get up. When do, when, you, when do you get up? When do you get up? When do you get up? Good. So I told you to solve only 10, right? How often? How often do you study English? Good. And we're missing two. What time the film start? What time does the film start? Okay. And the last one. You play tennis? Where do you play tennis? Fantastic. Where do you play tennis? Good. Now we can we could continue with this, okay? Because we have 20, but we're gonna stop over here. Now something. Something else that I wanted to share with you. Let me see. Yeah, this is something that really matters to me. And I think it matters to you also, right? So over here, listen, 
there are some some nouns that are countable and there are some others that are non-countable right so and this exercise is going to be now it's because we saw the, the word children there now question children is for singular or plural plural it's plural right so if it is plural we say countable or uncountable mm. Contable. 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 What about milk? I don't like milk. Contable or uncountable? Uncountable. Contable. Contable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Say countable or not countable? Not countable. Uh, so it's uncountable, right? <laughs> so T, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Scientists say that the environment is threatened by pollution. Scientists. Uncountable. Uncountable? Uncountable. Is this a scientist? Uncountable. Well, someone said uncountable. We're going to check it later. My my mother uses butter to prepare cakes. Contable or, or uncountable? Butter. Uncountable. Uncountable. There are a lot of windows in our classroom. Contable or uncountable? Windows. Contable. Contable. Okay, contable. We need some glue to fix this face. Contable or uncountable? Glue. Glue. Uncountable. That's uncountable. The waiters in this restaurant are very professional. Contable or uncountable? Contable. 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 My father drinks two big glasses of water every morning. Contable. That's contable. The bread my mother prepares is delicious. Uncountable. It's uncountable. Drivers must be careful. The road is slippery. Countable. Countable. Some policemen are organizing road traffic to avoid any inch accidents. Contable. 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 Uh, I bought three bottles of mineral water for a picnic. Contable. Contable. I like some juice, please. Contable. Contable. Successful candidates will join the camp later this year. Contable. Contable. And well, we have 20. These are very fast. So we're going to finish them all. A rise in oil prices is inevitable since there is more and more world demand for energy. <clears throat> Contable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. I say uncountable. The exercises on this website are interesting. Uncountable. uncountable. But Michael, uncountable? No, uncountable. Well, uh, Michael says uncountable. Okay. okay. Dehydrated babies must drink a lot of water. Uncountable. uncountable. Uncountable at all. Ill Illiterates learn through a special government program. Uncountable. Say uncountable. We're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna check the answers. I met some nice people when I was walking along the beach. People. Uncountable. People is uncountable. Okay. Countable. Some control. okay, contact. Some people say contact. Well, we're gonna check now okay. and let us see what's what's going on with it. So you see in, in this, what's going on with this one? What happened with this one? 
So now, it's a plural. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, all right. So in scientists also, can we count people? Podemos contar las personas? No. A las personas? Yes. Yes, yes. right. So yes. scientists are, are people, mm -hmm. right? So that's why we need to say that this is countable, right? Now, let me see another observation. We have the exercises. Can we count the exercises? Sí, miren, hasta están enumerados. Hasta el 20. Okay. So we can count them, right? And the number, uh, the, the, this one is a special government program. This is countable, right? Hasta aquí nos pone el, el un programa de gobierno especial. Un. Okay, si se puede contar. So you need to be careful. Okay, so this was just another exercise for you to remember a little bit and take care and take care, right? About this. Well, we're gonna get back to this part and I will give you some time. So what what is the topic over here? The topic double H question, double -H question words, but also what is what is the the situation in this conversation? Ha. Huh. We're talking about what do people do at a company? What do you do? What does she do in a company? Okay, when do you have meetings? What time do you have to get to work, etc. Right? So we have a lot of questions that we can create. So Questions such as, hey, what do you do? What department do you supervise? What branch does she manage? Uh, where does your company manufacture? Uh, what unit do you oversee? Do you report to, or who do you report to? Okay, so you can create as many questions as possible. Okay, look, Martha manages the sales department. Uh, I supervise the maintenance departments. Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. The assemblers report this to the supervisor. The manufacturer in, in the Santa Ana plant. We manufacture, sorry. Douglas trains the new staff. So what are you going to do? Well, you're going to work with this. You can include questions like these ones in a new conversation, okay? And now, yes, it's a plus. Ahora sí, pueden tomar esta, esta conversación de modelo, pero le van a incluir un poquito más. Le van a incluir estas preguntas que hice al inicio a la conversación. Eso está en la página 21 y 22. Y también le van a incluir, por supuesto, algo relacionado a su trabajo. Directamente a su trabajo. Ok, pueden completar esto en pareja. Ahora lo voy a poner a trabajar en, en grupos de tres. Ok, vamos a invertir 15 minutos. Y it's a plus. Es un... Es un... Vamos a tratar de no leer. Ok. No leer la información. Traten de crear la conversación sin necesidad de estarla escribiendo. ¿Ok? Y, sin y la van a decir sin necesidad de estarla leyendo. ¿Está bien? So, the example that you have here is, is to the page 20, 21. 21, 22. There you can find out the information you are in church of uh, working tonight. So, I will stop sharing y voy a crear los, los grupos, ¿ok? Uh, are you clear about what we are doing tonight? ¿Estamos claros de lo que vamos a hacer? Hello, hello. Yes, yes. Ok, so take advantage of time. Ok, I will stop sharing. And let me see, how many people do I have? I have 15. Okay, so we're gonna have 
Good book three. So here we go. Okay, let us work a little bit, like 15 minutes and we're gonna get back. Hello, Edgar Merlin. Are you working in the activity? Eh, eh, es, eh, bueno, 
con Edgar eh, sí tuve comunicación. Creo que Berenice está de oyente. Yeah, that's right. So you can you can work with Edgar. You can create a new conversation with Edgar, okay? Mm. Um, solo que Edgar creo que no, no sé ahí qué problemas tenía. A technical problems? Um, creo que sí. No, Tisha, estoy trabajando en unas cosas aquí, pero no. Ah, ok. No puedo. Sí, sí. So you you can you can work in the conversation. You can try to uh, learn the conversation or include information in the conversation uh, and read it later, Merlin. Eh, estoy uh, formulando las preguntas. Good. Eh, por ejemplo, del de las que faltan, porque ahí no dan las respuestas del 2 al 6. Entonces, estoy formulando las preguntas. Ok, thank you. Continue mm -hmm. working there, please. Bye. Hello, Norma. Hello, Teresa. Hello. Hello. Are you working in the conversation now? Oh, okay, okay, Norma. Just keep practicing that, okay? Hello, Mario, are you practicing the conversation? Cristóbal, are you there? Well, let me see, we're missing like, yeah, like seven minutes, people. Do me the favor to practice the conversation. And that's question. What? What branch? What branch does the manager? What? What branch the manager Aníbal and Fernando? Um, Branch es como una rama de la de la misma. Branch branch es sucursal. Sucursal. Uh -huh. Ah, branch. I am a supervise branch in Salvador. Ah. In Salvador. En Johnny or what branch does the manager? Uh, the the branches. Uh, Nine. And the Mola Cascadas. Uh -huh. Other uh, Santa Elena. Hello, hello. Hope you're working in the conversation, Daniel. Hello, sí. Yeah. Creo que mis compañeros están solo de oyentes, que está en el trabajo todavía, creo. Ah, ok. So, just keep practicing, please. Ok. Eh, 
Uh, airplane uh, in general. Okay. What, what do you train in the new stuff, uh, Michael uh, Aníbal? Please repeat. What do you train the new stuff, Aníbal and Michael? Do you? And you and, 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 and start the the nine uh, from partners with partners. Doing reparation, reparation. Okay, la pregunta sería, do you training the new stuff? Aníbal Marco y sería, yes, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> Creo que se escucha mejor. Uh -huh. Ok. <laughs> okay. Y, bueno, la pregunta no la veo ahí. No sé si. Ya sería ya por aparte. La, una. la última, Michael, la última. What do you report? Uh, dice, do the strains, the new stuff. Uh, la modificamos, do you train, do you train the, o sería task? New stuff, ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ah, uh, in my case, uh, I train, I train the new stuff, but I show you, show, show, show him the old, uh, all the work in the... que las, las preguntas de DAS eh, solo son las respuestas cortas. Uh -huh. eh, yes, 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 I, I do. do. Or, or no. No, I don't. No, I don't. Correcto. Ok. Vale, si quieren, repitámoslo otra vez. Ok. Eh, hello, good evening. Mr. Aníbal and Fernando, what do you do you do Aníbal and Fernando in your in your company? Hi, uh, my company is an Ironman. Mm, okay, my and company is cooking and play. Okay, and what department do you supervise? I supervise to the Salvador company. But that's it. No, uh, no, I don't supervise. Uh, you, you own. I want to supervise. And the three question is uh, what branch does he manage? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, uh, I know, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> es que yo creo que nos confundimos con la C y la otra. La, la es que la respuesta corta que teníamos, teníamos que dar o, o teníamos uh -huh. que detallar. No, si se puede detallado, pues porque. Bueno. Un agregado para que no uh -huh. sea tan simple, como dicen. Uh -huh. What does branch does the he manager? Manage, manager. Ahí, ahí sería he porque estamos hablando Ajá, de he. nosotros o hablando de nosotros sería we we manage we manage what branch ah es cierto verdad what, what sí. branch we we cuántas eh, sucursales no branch 
maneja, dice ella. We, we, we are manager. We are manager. Uh -huh. Sería what branch we, we are managed. No, uh, no, uh, I managed. Okay, so welcome back. So let's see. You know, you know what? Training over here. Uh, well, and I hope that we we do not face any trouble. I only have ten people in the class, and uh, I don't know if if people face problems with internet connection. But 
We are going to see what you have preferred. Okay, for example, I have it here, Edgar, in, in Merlin. I don't know if you prepared something. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Um, in the in second question, what do you do? And, and th three questions. What branch does Claudio oversee? Um, four questions. Who do who do who do the assemblers assemblers report to? Um, five questions. Where does your plan manufacture? And six questions. What does Douglas do? Mm. Así quedaron. Oh, oh, okay. Excellent. I know you couldn't work with your with your with your classmate, right? Okay, algunos no pudieron eh, trabajar en, en equipo por X eh, motivo, pero se dedicaron a trabajar en, en, el, en el PDF y eso está perfecto. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let me see. Let me see because I'm having it here. I don't know if it's normal eh, or Teresa. Mario, Cristóbal, I don't know if you prepared something to present. No? Aníbal, Juan, and Michael, I don't know if you prepared the conversation. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, hello, good evening, Mr. Um, Fernando. Hello, good evening, my. Hello? Any trouble? No, people. No. I'm... Hello, hello, can you listen to me? 